Hello everybody and welcome back to Dead Estate. We are back once again after getting a win on our first run and giving away a copy of the game. Congratulations to whoever won that. I do hope that you enjoy. But this game is officially out now. You can go and get it over on Steam. Um, and yeah, we're going to jump in and just yeah. play as Jules. I am ready to go. And hopefully, oh, right. hopefully we can have ourselves a good run. Let's have a little see. Ooh, one second. Okay, everybody, I just need to change the audio settings a bit. I think since the last time I recorded, there's been a little bit of an update. I'm still playing on the pre-release version, but um, the game comes out in, what, like half a day for me at the minute, at, the, at this time. But yeah, they've uh, fixed some of the audio issues we had on the last episode, so let's see. We're playing as Jules this time. Jules is a little bit speedier, as we can probably see already. She also starts with a shotgun rather than a pistol, but as a trade-off, she starts with only 4 HP. So... She can Ouch. definitely be a bit tricky. Oh damn. I'm gonna turn the um not video, sorry. I'm gonna turn the the sound effect sound down just just one touch. There you go. Um just so that it's not quite so loud, but there you go. Anyways, we're gonna keep on going. And yeah, hopefully any of the audio issues we had in the last episode should be sorted now. I am good to go with this. And they have improved the shotgun since the last time I played as Jewels. They've been a little more usable, and I have to say I quite like it. I think it's uh I think it's pretty darn good. Let's keep moving on. We've got a challenge room here. I don't actually know what that is. Um I'm not gonna go for that yet. I did just see our secret room here as well. Ooh, this is a very good secret room. I like this. That was a hell of a lot of money to get on the first floor. Tell you what, I like that. Also, I love the shotgun for destroying pots. It's so nice. Hey, and there's that health. That's exactly what I've been looking for. That health is super important for us. Anyways, let's keep on moving. Got a few of the globs. But yeah, I love starting with a shotgun. Um, obviously, a little less range makes it a little tougher sometimes. But overall, I think it's really, really strong. Oh, we can start with a hammer here as well. The hammer's not great, I've got to admit. As, a me as far as melee weapons in this game go, the hammer isn't the best. Melee weapons are actually, as we saw with the electric guitar in the last episode, can be very, very strong. But in this game, they're, they're a little... It can be a little bit meh sometimes, and this is one of the ones that I think is a little meh, but that's a good thing. Not all weapons should be complete bangers. Let's jump in here. Uh, weapons don't use ammo for the, uh, for the first three seconds of entering a room. That sounds awesome. Uh, so if we get some like really high ammo consumption stuff, we want to be using it um, as much as possible in the first three seconds. Oh, we got these little dudes jumping from the ceiling. But as you can see, the melee weapons can do a hefty chunk of damage if you get um, good with them. We have a lot of money here, so I'm hoping we have some good stuff. Ooh, okay, so infinite ammo and invincibility upon entering a room sounds just awesome. <laughs> that sounds so useful to us. I'm definitely going to grab that. Grab the key. And we're going to try and win as jewels today, which should unlock another character for us. And then we can uh, go and try and unlock the ult path, which I'm really excited to do. We're getting a lot of health right now, which we unfortunately don't need. But there you go. I don't know how good this will end up being against the boss, so we'll find out. Uh, we'll go with a damage up to start. I find with jewels, it's really, really good to um, get yourself a health upgrade right off the bat. But honestly, with this setup... With the invincibility and the um, ammo consumption stuff that we've got going on when we enter rooms. I actually think that we should um, go for just all-out damage. We, we get that little icon above our head when we have invincibility, so boss rooms, of course, don't get that. Okay, it seems that there is still a small issue with the... Um, with the sound regarding bosses, uh, intro and outro playing, so prepare your ears for when this boss dies. It might have a, a little bit of an issue. There you go. Small issue. It's not. It's not a problem. It's a little loud. It's, it, like I said, that will that will already be fixed upon the release of the game. Do not worry about that. But anyways, let's keep her going and see if we can get a good run going on here. I might trash this weapon to get some money um, on this next floor because I don't feel like the sh the the hammers. Really all that good for us. As you saw against that boss there, I actually took quite a lot of unnecessary damage. Um, although, saying that, we do get invincibility. Um, as you saw there, we got hit but didn't take any damage. Um, upon entering rooms, so maybe a hammer's the best weapon for it. Chance for your shots to knock enemies back further. Not the best, but could be useful. 
you go. I'm looking for health now from all these pots, really. I should just be swapping weapon while I'm doing this, really. It's a lot easier to destroy the pots when you swap weapon. Yeah. Ooh, goddamn. Okay. Down to one HP because I didn't see that uh, leech in the barrel there. Oh, there you go. There's some healing. Nice. More health, please, game. More health, please. Yeah, that invincibility helps so much with that. You might wonder why I'm getting so close to the barrels of a leech could hit me. It's just so my shotgun blast can destroy more of the barrels at once. What? If I knew someone was coming in. Lester's cap. Lowers your max HP by half, but also, ooh, that would be dangerous. Oh, one of my favorite items so far. Gemini. Chance to fire double the normal number of projectiles. Super fun. We've also got eye drops there as well, which is accuracy, I believe, which could be really good for our shotty. Yeah. So if we get another hundred, I thought we already have hundred. Let's go for it. Extra accuracy and extra projectiles. That sounds like a really good combo. Okay, we didn't actually take any damage there. Don't worry. We are going to trash this now. Um, so we need to go bold right click. And that'll give us a good amount of money. Love the music in this game so much. Grab that. And we got another melee weapon. Okay, so not really what I'm expecting, but... I guess we're getting it. Uh, maybe there's a weapon we can buy. We've only got 100, though. The tennis ball isn't really the best for us. Not bad, though. But I think we'd rather stick with a baseball. Although, this is a boss. Nah, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trash this for the full amount of money. Give myself enough to buy the tennis ball without losing anything. Or I could go with a big grenade launcher. Um, I'm gonna go with the tennis ball, though. It's, it's a lot cheaper. And um, it should have enough ammo to kill this boss. Essentially, the tennis ball is just bouncy balls. But when, we got the, when we've got Gemini, we're going to throw out an extra projectile here and there. And I think that's going to be super valuable. I really hope we can get ourselves some healing up with this, though. Some bosses will drop health every now and again. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, this is great damage. Ammo is lasting, too. Yeah, this is really good damage. Tennis ball was 100% the right pick. So we could go back and maybe search out the rest of the floor for stuff if we want. But Chunks is going to be on his way shortly, so maybe not the best idea. Let's go back to this room we haven't discovered, at least. There could be something decent back here. Yeah, like our challenge room, which I definitely think is worth doing. Chunks is about. Be aware of that. This is the one where enemies explode on death sometimes, isn't it? So I think it's worth doing, although our health is really not very good. Wow, the tennis balls do so much damage. Holy hell. It's because of Gemini. We're just firing out way more projectiles than it looks like we are. Like, than, than our ammo consumption looks like we are, at least. So we just did that room easily. Very nice. Gemini's so good. Okay, we're all out of ammo on our tennis balls now. We could buy another weapon before we go to the next stage. What we can do is use our little invulnerability period here to make sure we walk past that without getting hit. Just be careful of this moth thing here. Have a real hard time killing those for some reason. Come on. Just one HP and I'll feel so much better. This is unfortunate. I don't know if these guys do contact damage and I really don't want to find out. I can't remember. Did we find our secret room on this floor? <gasps> there you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. That makes our life so much easier. And I got hit there. But remember, we do have the invincibility upon walking in. It would be nice if your character didn't make the, um, the I've been hit sound in conjunction with um, Guiding Angel, just to give you a little more clear indicator that you didn't take damage. But otherwise, it's fine. Let's go to the next stage. I am standing still. I hope we can buy some good stuff on the next floor too. If we could get um, 
There's an item called, I think, Fake Puke, which doubles the amount of projectiles shotguns fire, and there's another one called, like, the Ace of Diamonds, I think it is, that makes shotguns deal more damage. Getting any of those as jewels is so good. It just makes her starting weapon really, really fun to use, so I'm really hoping we can get that. Alongside with Gemini, there, there's some really fun stuff. Oh, they've definitely made shotguns a lot better. This feels way nicer to use. And it used to. There used to be the small issue where if your weapon was inside an enemy, it would shoot behind it rather than hitting them. They seem to have fixed that. So being really up close and personal with an enemy is no longer a, a downside. It used to be a huge downside. That's a, a change that I'm really enjoying seeing. Big props to the developers for fixing that. Saw our secret room just here. Got our machine gun. We'll switch over to our shotgun for now though. And we get ourselves a nice chunk of change. I think the better thing about these secret rooms is just the high chance of getting more money and uh, health from all the pots and stuff. Yeah, look at that. There you go. Back up to full HP. Uh, and we'll kind of decide what, what weapon we want to use based on the uh, the combat of the room that we're in. Like, this this one we just beat without um, changing weapon before, so we know we can do it again. Although I did take damage that time, sadly. This one should be fine. There's some healing as well. Can't quite hit it, though. There you go. We got it. We got it. A little bit tough. We got it. This will just stop chunks appearing. It's the rat poison. I'm not that bothered about that, to be honest. Normally, I play quick enough to not have to deal with chunks unless I want to. So, that's not an item challenge room that's worth it unless we desperately need the money. I always get hit by her. But she did drop us health, so it's fine. We should probably not destroy these pots until we need health. What do you got for me? Uh, blood bullets. Taking damage will give you ammo. Increase your rate of fire is really good. Leave a trail of pepper. We'll, we'll take that too. Bye. Goodbye. Okay, pretty happy with what we got now. The trail of pepper is just basically creep from Binding of Isaac, similar sort of thing. Enemies standing on it will take a bit of extra damage. And of course, increased fire rate is self-explanatory and very, very useful. We got ourselves dumbbell. Chance to fire a larger, heavier projectile. Now that's nice. Especially with Gemini. Coincides very nicely. God damn. We, yeah, we are doing some fat damage right now. We can get some more damage ups in this run. This run will be so good. Okay, so we're, we're bound to get hit a little bit this room. In fact, so much so that I, I think we should change weapon to something that we're going to be able to more easily hit this heart a bit of range from. So, I'm so glad Jules has this extra speed. Honestly, this heart is taking a beating and a half. What the hell? Maybe it's dependent on how many um, knights there are around it, but that one took a while. Oh, God. Two bunnies. Did not see that coming. But we got hit at the start of the room, so we didn't take any damage. Best time to get hit for us, really. Got another one of these bad boys. Lovely. Money's looking real good right now. Ooh. Again, we got hit right at the start of the room. This is so valuable. Being able to take a hit of damage without actually taking any damage right at the start of the room, as jewels especially, is insane. And you got to remember, do you know what? I've been I've been actually misplaying this slightly. We have the uh, bandolier. We should be using this weapon way more because we get infinite ammo on it for the first three seconds. I'd completely forgotten about that. I'm going to take health this time. And do you know what? We've got enough. I'm going to take some agility too. Um, just to make our lives a little bit easier and just generally safer. But now that we've got that, we should go around and destroy a few of the pots that we have remaining. I'm sure we'll get health from one of them. Especially rooms like this. Um, this is just so many pots. Sadly, not this time for us. Yeah, there was one more room with a lot of pots, wasn't there? I think it's this one back here. No? Was that a secret room, maybe? This room? There, yeah, this is the one. Make sure to leave and come back in to get our invincibility again, just in case one of those little scorpion little leech things gets us. Okay, so we're not getting health out of that. That's fine. I'm okay with that. So essentially, yeah, we want to be using our uh, weapon as soon as we enter a room. Getting a better weapon than this would be a good start, though. This one, I have to admit, isn't great. But that's the good thing about the weapons in this game. They vary in quality. Sometimes you're going to get lucky, sometimes you're not. Okay, we do have this guy. 
So as you can see, this is using ammo now. Um, I don't really think this is a boss we want to be fighting with a shotgun anyways, I'll be honest. So I'm going to just fight him with this assault rifle nonetheless. Even though the damage isn't very good. Oh, that's a not a good hit to take. In fact, this, this might just be a really hard fight for us. If we can get into second phase, I think we're in a good spot, but on this first phase, he has quite the command over us. Okay, we're all out of ammo on that. Okay, thank God you're in second phase. Even second phase here is going to be kind of tough, because we do have to get remarkably close to him to hit him. Again, one of the big downsides of Jules, if you run out of ammo in a fight, you're going to have to fight up close and personal. Do apologize about the very loud boss music, but as long as you know it's coming, it's not a problem. Right, so we, we are we are two health down from maximum HP. We have increased that by one, so that's not too bad. And we do only have the shotgun currently. We gotta really pay attention to our next weapon that we get and make sure that we um utilize it to its full potential, because I feel like we have a lot more room to maneuver in terms of our uh, our secondary ammo consuming weapon. I, I do not like these blue dudes. I find them really hard to hit. Luckily, they have a very good tell with the shadow. So that's not a problem. But it's the height at which they hover. I, I really, my brain just... I don't know if it's just the the weirdness of the, of the perspective or my brain just not comprehending. But I can never seem to hit them right. Okay, let's deal with these dudes first before we deal with that other goober. Good. Good. We managed to get stuck behind that then. Okay, so we do have some health here. That's nice. Oh, what the hell? Not okay with that. Got him. Okay, what we got in here this time? Pumpkin. Pumpkin's a very strong item. I would kind of like that. So let's maybe return once we have a gun. But pumpkin's a pretty strong item. And it's spooky themed. Cordelia's here. Slime. Increase fire rate and all shots become bouncy. Oh my god. Sounds awesome. Slime seems like a great item. Okay, so this is a teleport here. We can actually go get that. Teleport back. We need to find out our weapon chest, really. Two of these enemies in here. Oh, three, actually. There's all three of them. Okay, so we do have um, a weapon shot. That's not really what I'm looking for. Oh my god, the creep. Told you, these enemies are tough. Can't hit that guy while he's there for some reason. He's like outside of the zone, slightly. Oh, I just can't hit this dude. Come back. Die. <laughs> Die, please. Thank you. Magnum, okay. Pretty strong weapon. Ooh, we've got a secret room here as well. Just just saw that. There's some he healing. Very nice. Let me get another one in this room. We can open our boss door at least. Oh my god. That's incredible. We wouldn't use any ammo there either. Here's the big boy. Ooh, okay. Can we cheese chunks a little bit here? One second. Oh god, this is a room I haven't been in yet. Oh. Dude, 
dude, chunks. Okay, I'm dead. So chunks kind of cheesed me there. He like hit me multiple times. He's getting very fast. Is he dead? What the hell? I think he died as I left the room. <laughs> I didn't get any money for that. That's a bit sad. Okay, well I wasn't ready for that. Is that another secret room there? Tally improves maximum HP, jump height, speed, and reload times. Ooh. Yeah, that's a second secret room. I didn't even know there could be two. Awesome. Ball and chain, I guess we'll take it. Come on, a little bit of healing, please. Health is not good right now. Okay. Right, um... Let's go back and get our pumpkin. Yeah, there's two secret rooms on this floor. That's interesting. I didn't, I didn't know that was a thing. Right, this could be risky, but I gotta do it. I gotta have my pumpkin. I think the Magnum's good enough to, to do this for us quite easily. I just don't want to use all of this ammo. Hey, we got it. Pumpkin. Every fourth... Oh, this is actually not what I thought. What? Okay, now I'm just annoyed. Where'd you come from, fella? I thought you were gone. I thought you'd perished. Ouch. Dude. Chunks, no. Chunks, no. We gotta buy some healing. We gotta buy some healing. I don't know what chunks was on there, but that's not how we should work. He's back after me again. Okay, we got him. We got the money, good. Good, good, good. What? Was there anything else we wanted from Cordelia? I can't actually remember. What? What? If I knew someone was coming in. Um. Chance to receive coins upon entering a room for the first time. Nah. We can we can save that. I love just hopping around in this game. It's so fun. Let's go fight our boss. We've not actually checked in here yet. Bowling ball is great. I love the bowling ball. That is very expensive for the bowling ball, though. Got very low ammo, so... Maybe not worth that much money. Alright, let's go fight our boss. Who we got, who we got, who we got. Alright, it's this guy, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we should we should be fine against this dude. Just get ready for the for the loud sounds, boys. Get ready. Wow. The bouncy shots. Bouncy shots are incredible. I love it. Got nine ammo left in this bad boy. Nine ammo left. Right, we are up to the last area. We are at full health right now. That's good at least. Golden gun. 
Honestly, yes, I will take. Um, let's scrap this. Not that we'll get much for it. The golden gun. Only seven shots. Oof. That's a... Uh... I'm, I'm doing it. That's a spicy pepperoni right there, and I'm doing it. Yes! <laughs> Get rewarded! Damn it, I was hoping I could get enough to uh, get under 100 there with the ramen thing. Okay, nice one. So the golden gun does a lot of damage, and we just increase our damage by a hell of a lot. We did gain plus one maximum HP as well. Because we gained plus two, but it's halved, so we only gain plus one. But, still really good. Shoot enemies to kill them. What a tip. Love it. Right, so the golden gun won't exactly kill him instantly, but in seven shots it should do pretty pretty good job. Let's just be careful because we only have four HP here. Destroy that lock. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, we've actually we're actually on two HP already. Okay, we got him, we got him. I think to just stop doing that attack so I can pick up the rocket launcher. We got him. Yes! That was a bit close. That was a bit close. We unlocked her B costume, which is pretty awesome. The president's daughter. We did it. We did it very nicely. But there's another win under our belt. And another dead estate kaboom. I love that outro. It's so good. Look at that fucking huge explosion. Well, yeah, absolutely beautiful. And we actually should have unlocked another character. Beat the game as Jules, the college dropout. The Sorceress. Clear the games, both Jules and Jeff. We unlocked Cordelia. Now it's time to unlock the alternate route via using Cordelia here. I'm excited to see that. There you go, yet another win. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I did very much so, and I'll see you guys in the next one.